Hello. Yes, good afternoon, everybody. Hello. Yes, good afternoon, everybody. Today is 14th of August 2019, and today's webinar is going to be on how to trade inside bars. So, if you can remember, last week we actually looked at how to trade engulfing candles, and in that webinar, we tried defining exactly what engulfing candle was. We tried looking at circumstances when engulfing candle was good to be traded. In this webinar, we are going to look at something that is similar to engulfing candles, just that it's exactly opposite engulfing candles. So if you remember properly, we did mention that any candle that is bigger than the previous one in terms of highs and lows and body, that's an engulfing candle. So this is what we said, that if you have this, you have a candle like this one, where I'm having my mouse pointer at, this one, you have the low of this candle being lower than the previous low, and the high of this candle being higher than the previous high, and then the body of this candle also is bigger compared to the previous one. Then this candle here is referred to as an engulfing candle. And in this case, since it's pointing upwards, we now call that a bullish engulfing candle. So the opposite is true. If you have a candle which is red in color, we have uh, not that one, this one here. You can see the, the body of this candle from this, the opening and the closing price, the body is bigger compared to the body of the previous one. And the high of that same candle, this candle here, the high of this candle is higher than the previous one, and the low of this candle is lower than the previous one. So this it's also called an engulfing candle and since it's pointing downwards this is a bearish engulfing candle so we also mentioned that such some cases that certain people can define engulfing differently like instead of having the high this was an engulfing sorry a very good engulfing candle this whatever i'm saying now is something that we looked at last week i'm just trying to clarify before i move on because what I'm going to look at today is actually related to what we looked at previously. We have this. This is an engulfing candle, but you have the high of the previous one being higher than the current candle, which is this. So some people can define this as an engulfing candle, but from what I mentioned previously, engulfing candle is where the current candle is completely bigger than the previous one. So inside bar is opposite an engulfing candle. What that means is if you have the previous candle being bigger than the current candle in terms of highs and lows, then that's called an inside candle. So there, there, this one also there are two types. We have a bullish inside inside bars, then you also have a bearish inside bars. Let me draw that. Assuming this is our screen, you have this. I'm going to delete uh, this line chart first of all so that we have, a, we have a clean surface. I'm also going to delete all these objects. Assuming you have this, that the price moves up, there's a green candle like this. This is green in color. Price continues out. The first candle is very big. And it's green. We ensure it's completely green. Then the next candle opens, continues up. We are still upwards. Then the next candle, which opens, instead of continuing upwards, actually looks like this. And then when you touch a tail which is not longer than the previous tail, this is what is referred to as a bearish in, bullish inside bar. So you can see that the high of this candle is actually above, 
the higher of this candle this is this like the, the mother candle is bigger than the, the current one and the low of the mother candle is also lower than the than the current one then this the child birth you have the high being lower and the high of the mother bar. So what, when I talk about a mother bar, what I mean is the previous candle. This. We have this. And then you also have this. So you can see that if you compare the high of the, the child bar, which is this one, it's actually lower than the high of the previous one. And the low of the mother bar is lower than the child bar. So what this, this is referred to as an inside candle. It is inside the previous one. And what it means is price is likely continuing to the upper side. So if you are looking at this chart and you want to trade it correctly, be sure to look for buy positions after such an inside bar. So in this webinar, I'm also going to look at like circumstances under which you should be trading such a setup. Not that anytime there's, there's an inside buy, you pick a trade in that direction, no. There has to be something which is happening to trigger you to make that decision for buying. So uh, I'm very, very sh sorry, I forget, I forgot to actually mention something here. I, I didn't define it exactly. This is the definition from online. If you look at online, this is this exactly this is exactly what an inside is being defined as an inside bar is formed when prices when price trades within a high and low range of the previous day so this is taken from the daily if, if you are trading a daily chart if the price remains in between the range of the previous days high and low then the current days can is actually an inside bar making the candle an inside day or an inside bar the inside bar is therefore a two candlestick price pattern. An inside bar is, a, is also similar to a bullish or a bearish harami candle. So this is another thing. I have not mentioned it. But anytime you hear the word harami, it's actually inside. So attaching this word bearish harami, I mean attaching bearish to harami means we have a bearish inside bar. And attaching bullish to harami means we are having a bullish inside bar. So that's one thing which I've not mentioned. I basically just forgot to mention it, but something which is important. So there's, there's no difference between harami and inside inside bar. So if you are talking about bullish inside bar, you are same as talking about bullish harami candle. So if you have this that the price is proceeding upwards, then there's a big candle which has a small, a high, a high, high, and a lower high. And the current candle, which is this day now, has a lower high, I mean a lower high and a higher low. Then this is a bullish inside bar. The same thing is true for the other one. Assuming price proceeds downwards, you have price moving to the lower side. Price moving to the lower side like this sorry like this then the next candle also does the same thing continues downwards like this and then what happened next is instead of the the next candle to proceed lower than the previous law it actually opens where that candle has closed and closes above so this should be green screen <clears throat> this is green so what this means is we are still continuing to the lower side and basically what it means is instead of price making a lower low we try to go lower but could not go lower than the previous one and we try to go high but we could not go higher than the high of the previous candle it means we are continuing to the lower side we are continuing to the upper side in this case here. 
So let us look at the main chart. Let's see exactly what, what I'm talking about in the, in the real chart. This is the real chart. I'm going to delete all these. We are not using them. Then the second, we delete all this first. This is how my screen looks. So this is an inside candle. The body of this candle is inside the body of the previous one. Although the high of this candle is not, I mean the low of that candle is not above the low of the previous one. But this is still an inside candle. So what it means is we are still continuing to the lower side. You need to still look for sell positions. Then price, this, 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 this move, this, another move. And then also this is an inside candle. It may look that the price continued up after this inside candle, but then it eventually headed to the lower side. This is still an inside candle. So it is this that you cannot refer to as an inside because the body is bigger, completely bigger than the previous one. But this is an inside candle. Compare the high of this red candle, compare the high of that candle here, the high, and the high of the previous one. You notice that there's a slight difference. This is slightly above the high of this one. And the low of this candle is lower than the low of this candle here. So this is an inside. What it means is we are still continuing downwards. So eventually, you can see that the price actually headed downwards. It is true that after this inside bar, we saw price move downwards. And then there's also, this is a perfect inside bar. Then there's this, we also have this as an inside bar. The body of this candle, the high is lower than the high of the previous one. The low is higher than the low of the previous one. Then the body of that particular candle is actually inside the body of the previous one. So this is an inside bar. Then we continue backwards, backwards, backwards. We have this. This is a bearish inside bar. You can see the high of this candle is lower than the high of the previous one. And the low of that particular candle is higher than the low of the previous one. And the body of that particular candle is actually inside the previous candle. What this means is we are still proceeding downwards. So in the middle of this candle, you actually are supposed to look for a sell immediately. If you are trading this candle correctly and you want to pick a sell, you technically are supposed to sell immediately this inside candle closes and as closed as a pin bar, then your stop loss should be above the high of the mother bar, which is this one. So this one you could have been stopped, but eventually you can see the price basically just proceeded downwards. And then we also have this. We have this one here. This is an inside candle. This one here. So if the, if the price was proceeding downwards and then a candle appear which has a low, which is lower than the low, the, I mean the high which is lower than the high of the previous one, and a low which is higher than the low of the previous one, then that is defined as an inside bar. So the best case is where the body of that particular candle is actually smaller compared to the body of the previous one. So in this case, you can see that we have this, the green candle, the green bar, which is here. If you compare the body of this green bar and the previous one, this body is small. Compare the high of that inside bar with the high of the previous one. This high is lower. And compare the low, which is this here. And the low of the previous one you can see that the low of the inside candle is actually higher than the low of this one. so this means this is a bearish inside but it means possibly we are still continuing to the lower side so the best is you're supposed to sell immediately that can closes you're supposed to pick a sell so with this sell you have your stop loss above the high of the mother bar which is this this one so you will sell it immediately, have your stop loss, and then take profit immediately. Price goes like two times this distance from this point to this point. We have this. 
take profit exactly the same distance that you mark as the stop loss you take profit immediately when that is hit we have this have that so from that point up to this point this is where you take your profits so uh, somebody may come up with a good strategy to take profit but from the best the best you should be doing is actually to have your stop loss here above how you take profit it should not be much bigger than i mean the the take profit should be at least two times or one times if, if you can get the same amount you're risking on this trade then that's still okay but somebody may extend this that after that you continue taking profit but as you can see the price barely got to the slow before reversing to the upper side we also have this it's a bearish inside bar this one this this green can only compare it to the previous one this is not a very good one actually the body i've noticed is bigger than the body of the previous one so it's not a good one then we continue backwards it's no good one i'm not seeing any good one so even this can be described as an inside by this one it can be described as an inside bar, but the high of the current is higher than the pre. So that's the main reason I'm not calling this an inside bar. So there's another one here, which I think this can be a good one. Look at the high of this one, and then the low of the same candle, then the high of the previous one, the high of this one, and the low and the low of the previous. So this can also be described as an inside bar if you successfully manage to sell after this inside bar this one if you successfully manage to sell after this candle then the best you should have your stop loss is above the mother candle which is this so if you sell it at this price here if you sell it there you're likely to see price move up but it should not move above the high of the, the mother bar then your take profit is the same distance which is from that point up to this level here this is where you take profit you, you enter sell you have your stop loss and then your take profit is here these are the three important lines where you enter where you exit as a loss and where you exit if your take profit is hit also have this here this is an inside bar this one the candle which i'm currently having my most pointer at this is called a bullish inside bar yeah so you can see we have the high of that candle being below the high of the previous one the low of that candle being above the low of the previous one and then we have this this is the correct place if you are to sell it you have to sell it on this candle here this green candle to sell it on that green candle then you have your stop loss below the low of that can there the mother bar which is this this is the mother bar i'm going to have my learner this is the mother bar you have your stop loss below it then your take profit needs to be the distance between where the stop loss is and where you entered that's your take pro you use that as the take profit so somebody may say that your price has to go like two times it's okay you can still take profit two times the stop loss like that what that means is if you have this assuming i'm having these two lines there you'll draw this like this then you add another one which means this candle here was enough for you to take profits on that particular trade so we move back if you if you sell if you successfully pick a sell or a buy of an inside candle then have your stop loss above or below the mother bar that is one thing which you need to understand properly we have this this one here it's an inside candle compare the high of that candle and they have the previous one the low is some somehow below the low of the previous one so this disqualifies that candle but it's still an inside candle and then continue back to the past there is this this is an inside candle this one here this is a very good inside candle so i'm going to mark it 
we have that compare the high of that candle which is here and they have the previous one also look at the low of that particular candle and the low of the previous one anytime you have a candle which has which is falling in between the previous candle that's an inside candle if you sell it if that's a bearish inside inside bar your stop loss needs to be above the mother bar and if that is a bullish inside candle then your stop loss needs to be below so if uh, assuming i'm looking at this the, whatever i drew here if this is to proceed upwards you have to enter buy there yeah enter buy immediately after this candle but your stop loss needs to be below the mother but this is the stop loss then your tech profit is at least one times whatever you're risking so if you are risking this is one your tech profit needs to be here there this is your tech profit somebody may say that they need two times that which is correct which means they will have their tech profit there here so they're risking one the tech profit is two times and when price is proceeding downwards the same thing is true you will sell immediately after the inside bar but you have your stop loss above the mother bar which is this one so the distance between this and this multiply that by at least one to get the take profit so if you have this the distance uh, let's see this distance uh, we have that this is the distance between this point and this point your take profit needs to be here there at least one times and if possible you can extend this to be two times that means you multiply the distance between this point and this point to be two which means you'll take profits around this point there. this is always the correct recommended risk to reward anytime this is less then there's no business there anytime you you are risking a lot for very less in a particular trade then there is no point for entering that particular trade so uh, there is one thing which i've not mentioned here which i'm going to mention that inside bar you don't just enter trade because there's an inside bar that is not good at all you don't just enter trade because there's an inside bar something must happen for you to say that an inside bar is likely going to work or it's not going to work at all if you have this assuming you have a resistance level then price breaks above that resistance level and then a bullish inside bar forms above that resistance then that is a very very good place to buy from even better if you have a level that the price has gone above there's an inside bar and that inside bar is followed by a bullish engulfing candle then that confirms that you are heading that direction you're supposed to look for a trade immediately that's a very very good strategy like that if you have a level and price has gone above that level then an inside bar forms after that breakout then that is a very very good place to look for a buy and if you have a support if you have a support level then price goes and breaks below that support and then after that a bearish inside bar forms below that support then that's the correct time to look for a trade normally somebody would enter trade anytime there's an inside bar you enter trade but that's not the correct way the correct way is if this assuming you have this this is a resistance here a very good resistance you can see the price somehow has been held below this level for some times I'm going just to draw it so that we are able to see. Assuming you have this price was below a level. We have this. We have this. Sorry. We have this one. And then there is this somehow it continued up like that and then there's a decline after that we saw that maybe the price instead of proceeding upwards it 
plunged down like this. Like that. And then press this it again proceeded up before we continued towards where we wanted to get to like this so as you can see the same place was being used as a resistance previously we had it around this this was a very good resistance first time press this was a resistance so what, the reason I'm, I'm only marking this is because I'm assuming that maybe the price went up first and then it proceeded down, it came back up and down and then we've gone above this level. Anytime there is this that the price has gone above a level, then the next candle after that or the second candle after the breakout is actually an inside candle and a bullish inside candle. What that means is we are still proceeding upwards. This is always the correct time to look for a trade if you are trading an inside bank. If you have a level like this that the price has been using and then price uses that level as a resistance, then it breaks above it, then the next candle after that breakout is actually an inside candle. That's a, there are high chances that you are proceeding to that direction. So you need to look for a buy after that immediately after that inside candle be sure to look for buy positions and with such positions your stop loss needs to be below this candle yeah as i've mentioned your stop loss has to be below this candle here so the same thing is true with a bearish inside but if you have a level maybe a good support assuming i have this level here and price bounces off of that level and continues upwards. What I'm assuming is the price continue down first, like that. Then it bounced off of that level as a support there. And then it proceeded maybe slightly upwards. There is this. We have this and then this proceeded maybe slightly upwards before came back and broke below this level before we see something like this so immediately when this happens that you had a level which is being used as a resistance previously I mean as a support previously then somehow the price successfully closes below it. If you see an inside candle after that breakout, then such an inside bar is likely to work than if the inside bar happens in between. So if you see something like this that after the breakout, the next following candle is inside the previous one. like this that means you're still proceeding to the lower side this is a very very good time to look for a trade anytime this happens that you had a support a support previously then there's a big candle which opens above the support and closes below the support and then the next candle is inside the previous one that is a sell it's a very very good sign for a sell you need to start looking for sell positions immediately and anytime you have a resistance and price goes above that resistance and then the next candle is actually an inside candle start looking for buy positions immediately and with that one this may look a bit outrageous but the correct place normally to put your stop loss is above that candle which actually broke below this is the safest place it looks very very big but it's always the safest place so whatever what I normally do is anytime I see this that the, the stop loss is very high and we have this, I always have something like a, a script that stops for me the losses when a particular amount is reached. So I don't have to have price coming up to this point for me to lose the entire amount of money. If if instead of continuing down the price actually goes up, 
I cannot lose much more than a particular amount of money. But in your case, you need to drag stop loss manually up to some level which you think is important for you. But that correct place should be here. But if the loss is so much, drag it somewhere in between, maybe above half this candle. Still okay. You can still drag it above the half of this candle. So if you have the entire candle like this, the half is probably here. Have the stop loss above it. Then leave it at that point. Just do other things, let the trade run for you. If it goes against, it's okay, look for the next best one. If it works for you, also look for the next best one. So, thank you very much. Uh, that should bring us to the end of this webinar. So far, we've looked at just exactly what we ought to have been looking at. We've tried defining what inside bar is. And we've also looked at inside bars that are likely to work and circumstances under which they are likely to work another thing which i've not mentioned is you need to combine inside bars with trend if you have a price moving down or the overall trend is bearish be sure to look for bearish inside bars and if the overall trend is bullish also look for bullish inside bar candles so thank you very much see you again tomorrow oh, sorry on wednesday next week thank you